think of, and, and I do want to say this, Yellow called me and he was like, yo, I want to sit down. I want to sit down with you, baby. Baby wasn't there for some reason. And I, baby wasn't there, uh, hit that. He named a few people and all the media people, we didn't know what to expect. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, uh, my boy Money Moses couldn't be here. I gotta say this. I'm shouting him out on a few of these episodes, man. Free Money Moses. Free Money uh, Moses, man. I, I know uh, Carlos uh, Miller just shouted him out. Yeah. Now you shouting him out. Yeah, I got Free Money Moses. He man. gonna love Great it. Energy. Uh, Great yeah, energy. Yeah, we gonna, yeah. Um, I hope he gets out. You know, jail is nowhere. I've never been to jail, but the stories I hear, man. the videos I see is nowhere you wanna be. Near so. where you wanna be. Yeah. Uh, Free Money Moses. But I wanna ask you about, you know, I was in California. I was interviewing Lefty Gun, play all these different people out yeah. in LA. And uh, I looked on my uh, on my phone. I mean, on my phone, somebody sent me say they having a meeting. Yeah, mm. I said who having a meeting? Sean Cotton. They they, they interviewing uh, a Yellow Beezy. He done called everybody. I said what? Mm. And I was in Cali, and I I didn't feel no type of way. Right. I was like, that's good, man. They going they evidently finally you know come to have a come to Jesus meeting or something. Yeah. You know, far as to understand, you know, I guess uh, why Yellow don't, uh, it, you it know, he, he mm -hmm. don't uh, deal with the Dallas Media. bloggers. Yeah. I talked to Yellow Beezy, me and Bubba Dub was in the dressing room and he said something to the fact of the city not really, you know, like the people in the city don't show no love. You know what I mean? Certain, and it wasn't in no bad way, like the way they come for you, you know, and 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 it was it was real quick. It was just one 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 night because I don't know Yellow like that. We don't have no long drawn conversations. I only met him on a couple of few mm -hmm. occasions, but I was a big fan already before mm -hmm. Boss Talk. So I would always go through uh, Big D, not Big D, uh, Low Deezy to try to get him, you know, over here. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, Low Deezy told me he was gonna get him on here Damn. when he first had brought, you know. Brought uh, a few artists through, you know what he I mean. Come. He didn't ever. I never. I never even got to interview Yellow, but I always was a fan of. He did trap and design. I yep. had the store for eighteen years. Right. I sell clothes. Yeah. That's so his, I, that's your favorite song. You always mention that one. That was, song. That was before that the hit. That, that was, was before, the one. Yeah, that was like, the one. Trap in the midfield, come on. Hey. Hey. Young nigga trap and design. Young nigga trap and design. Hey. Young nigga trap. Let yep. you know if yeah. you know, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like was I was one. rocking with him, and then he did the thing with the piano, like Stevie Wonder. Oh, Keep it a huncho. I watched yeah. all this stuff, bro. I was a big fan before. I didn't, and I and the crazy part about it is I didn't even listen to Mo Three to after he passed away. Mm, at least you admitted it. No, no, my brother tried to force him on me, and I was like, nigga, I'm not listening to that nigga, man. Mm. I don't know. It was cause he beat the dude up on Facebook. That pissed me off. Oh, uh, when he kind of had him under the car, kind yeah, of. Yeah, like, and then he had you know. checked uh, uh, somebody that do mixtapes, and I was oh, like, "Oh, the DJ D real." And then I realized yeah, I I'm like, "No, you know." In my mind, I'm like, "Yellow going, Yellow doing his thing. Like he really yeah. represent right. He don't get into no mess." Mm -hmm. And that's where I was. I'm an older okay. nigga, so gotcha. I was watching all that. Plus, Damn, I was that's crazy. You driving that. design. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, I love music. That's yeah. why I got both so. So you'll hear me say different stuff that go back to that music. Mm -hmm. So. Y'all had the meeting. You know, I was excluded. You know what I'm no, saying? No, I, no, I, no, no. I was excluded. Boss Talk is here. <laughs> we represent the city, I, I, too. Not to cut you off, but I think, uh, and, and I do want to say this. Yellow called me, and he was like, yo, I want to sit down. I want to sit down with you, baby. Baby wasn't there for some reason. And I, baby wasn't there. Uh, hit that. He named a few people, and all the media people, we didn't know what to expect. It was like one of them, like I, it was one of them situations with the Big Chief where they invite you somewhere and you don't know what you're getting yourself into. So I didn't know what to expect. He just wanted, he just told me that he wanted this situation to be on the Say Cheese platform. So I had gathered up my crew uh, and we showed up, but I didn't know if it was a, if it was going to be at like, if it was going to be like a podcast or like a debate or I didn't know what format it was going to be. Um, but to your point, um, it wasn't like the media people got together and didn't bring you. Yeah. It was, I think Yellow picked his people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the people he had issues with that he wanted to address. Well, I think, yeah, because yeah, I know we don't have no issue with Boss Talk because we don't even know exactly. each other like that. But again, you guys are all peers. Like I always say, mm -hmm. that's your 
that's his era. You think yeah. about it. All y'all around the same age. Exactly. All y'all came up during the same yeah. time. Yeah, we, we were all broke together. You, I got, you see what I'm yeah. saying? Y'all all came up at the same time with the same circle of people, including mm-hmm. real life as well. Yeah. Like all y'all was even hit that. All y'all come up during the time. So I, I got love for that. I enjoy seeing that, you know. And I didn't know who organized it, but I know it was high time for it to happen. Mm-hmm. Now, I watched the interview, too. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of like, you know, I, you don't get my opinion on Boss Talk because I don't want people to think no way. Mm-hmm. But I was listening to Yellow Talk, and I was like, man, you know, he got a few points. But more so than anything, what stuck out to me was the bloggers is not who caused all the issues like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, Yellow is... Yellow and yellow getting uh, shot. Yellow going, you know, having these different situations. Mm-hmm. The I beat them up situation and all that. A lot of that's gonna spur not just in Dallas. Yeah. Everybody around the globe is is that, but it really yeah. feel it hit different probably to him because it's Dallas that's saying it, yeah. and he at home and he wants everybody want everybody to get behind him when they're at home. That's what they want. Mm-hmm. But the book I believe in say a prophet is without honor in his own mm-hmm. country. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So I don't think they they crucified uh, Jesus in in, the, in in you know on on the skull of Golgotha. So at the end of the day, you know you not gonna get that honor where you from. Mm. It's crazy. But when you go places, when we go places, more people they love you more. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. When you leave home and go out, that's why the prodigal son left in Luke. I'm not going to go there in the Bible, but <laughs> you, when you go out, you feel like you're doing your thing anyway. Mm-hmm. But the people embrace you more in yeah, other cities, bro. That's true. Even DeRoe, when he hit, where did it happen at? Mm-hmm. The Got first semester hit. Okay. Francisco. Yeah. So you, you, this is a part of it. But Yellow Dope, I mean, we all love Yellow Bees. We know what he did here. Mm-hmm. But we also love Mo3. When mm-hmm. I started to look at the whole situation, we also love Rain. We also love. Uh, uh, say cheese, even though he ain't from Dallas, because that's what they saying buying his back. To be honest yeah. with you, say cheese, man, Sean Kai, he ain't originally from. I'm from Arlington. Well, I grew up in Arlington. That's what so. they're gonna. But, but they, they say you're not from. They gonna Arlington. say that. Yeah. Think about it. That's what they. I, I, they I mind. claim Arlington though, because that's where I grew up. Mm-hmm. I don't care what you claim. They yeah. gonna say you from. They, you're yeah. not from you're Dallas. From Philly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That that. But that's also an excuse for haters. Yeah. That pretty much don't want to put that work in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But how was it? The energy for you being that you was in there and you was basically uh, what was he? He was he was kind of moderating. He, mm-hmm. he was doing the moderating. He was sitting in the middle and yeah. Uh, how was that? It was cool. Um, I haven't talked to Half Pint in like five years. I love seeing that. You so, know that. I always try to get yeah. y'all together. So I just fell back from Half Pint. Okay, okay. Cause y'all, y'all both doing your thing. I Man, ain't gonna I, lie. I, I fuck with half pint. It ain't, it's nothing. Um, y'all both bad at yeah, what it, you do. It's nothing. Um, it's nothing personal. It's just business. Yeah, and, you're right. And, and I could be on here, you know, bad talking half pint. And I'm not on. No, nah, yeah, come on, man. I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't expect I, I, that. I like what he's doing, you know. And, and one day we'll get past this. But for now, I'm still like I'm upset about. Man, that. I like it. He, you know he what see, I'm? he feel a certain type of way. Like, but you say, but but I like the part where he say we can get past. Yeah, it. we ain't out here trying to kill. No, no, no. But it can be. It's just a conversation. Maybe it's like, the bridge can be built. Yeah. Are you willing to have that conversation? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not. It's no. Why you don't pick up the phone? Why you don't pick up the phone? I have. Okay. Well, he don't, don't answer the phone. <laughs> oh, you don't answer. Yeah, that's. I'm not. It's only so many times Time you can call me the phone. I get it. Yeah. Well, I always try to ask why. You know. Yeah. You didn't so, know why? No, you told me why oh, yeah. on here yeah. about yeah. the car. I, I agreed yeah. that that was wrong. And it was. I mean, it was. I could have. I, I feel like I could have handled that better. Like just me looking back now. Yeah, that's like me looking back, and I feel like I feel like if we were all intact, I feel like more more W's would have would have been on the scoreboard. Did Dad stop you from dealing with Yellow a little bit? Cause him and Half Pint had their no. Nah, I never stopped dealing with Yellow. Yellow just kind of fell back over time. Like I told y'all, like when Yellow used to drop music videos before the beef, it, he used to hit me, "Hey, bro, I'm dropping on Friday. Can you post for me?" Bet just send it to me beforehand so I could schedule it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.